Hi everyone, this is Gaurav from Classical Education Online YouTube Learning Channel, and uh, in the lecture series of Power Theft, I will be taking five to six lectures. Thereby, I will be covering uh, most of the syllabus of Power Theft. Now, in case if you do have any doubt, I just made a Google Classroom there, and thereby you can connect with me and let's uh, have an interaction on that particular platform. in the today's presentation i will be telling you about the definition of energy management okay what is the objective of energy management what actually the energy audit is all about and the types of energy audit and then we will be taking a uh, concept of what actually the methodology to look after the detailed energy audit okay so let's start this presentation and do connect with me on classgo education at the rate gmail.com for any such queries okay so what actually the energy management in brief words we can say that energy management is a mechanism whereby optimization of energy takes place optimization of energy i mean that there should be balance between supply and consumption what actually did this typical word optimization mean actually in the bullets if you just see over here in on your ppt that optimum solution is to minimize the energy cost minimize the losses minimize the waste without affecting production and quality and in the last minimize the environmental effects when we are talking about the optimal energy management then we have to take care of cost losses and environmental effects as well if we consider that suppose an institute is there some organization is there so when organization is focusing on cost saving okay on various pattern of energy consumptions and looking after to reduce the losses there are some sort of sustainable goals as well those sustainable goals either made by some regulatory bodies or some standards and those sustainable goals can be that you have to reduce the carbon emission okay i'm just uh, connecting it with greenhouse effect so energy management is optimal energy uses taking the consideration of sustainable goals into focus so this is basically the concept of energy management now let us understand what actually the energy audit so energy audit is a systematic approach for decision making in the areas of energy management what type of decision making it is decision making in terms of that what could be the recommendation what could be the technological advancements are there any substitution in the process which are existing are there any requirement of engineering awareness programs training programs if there are some sort of loopholes how to reduce those loopholes what what actually the conventional losses are there any strategy to reduce those losses or not so basically decision making in these areas i am talking so the key objective of energy audit is to balance the total energy inputs comma fuels comma identify the areas where waste can occur and it serves the purpose with respect to improvement okay in the pre existing mechanism in an organization or institute okay a very good definition given by energy conservation act 2001 which says energy audit is defined as the verification comma monitoring and analysis of use of energy including submission of technical report containing recommendation for improving energy efficiency with cost benefit analysis and an action plan to reduce energy consumption so basically in energy audit the verification of data analysis of the data monitoring of the data okay and in the last there should be a detailed technical report which basically focuses on these areas and also suggest some cost benefit approaches analysis to reduce a uh, energy consumption needs now 
the energy ordered is to determine ways to reduce energy consumption per unit of product output or to lower operating cost energy audit provides benchmark reference point for managing energy in the organization and also provides the basis for planning a more effective throughout the organization so throughout the organization we are basically looking after the what are the different segments what are different departments and how energy consumption need pattern how process control is taking place and what are the benefits we can extract from them how we can improve them so all these points are considered in energy audit key areas basically that what whatever the action plan it should have some technological advancements some modifications with reliable solution okay now what are the different types of energy audit so first one is preliminary audit and second one is detailed audit now let us understand what actually the preliminary audit is all about in preliminary audit we basically set benchmarks or reference points then we will basically identify the energy consumption scenarios then what actually the power we are we are procuring so we have to identify the major energy suppliers then existing data is analyzed further identifying the cost improvement areas and then estimated the scope for saving so this is basically the preliminary energy audit methodology now what actually the detailed energy audit methodology it is basically a comprehensive audit which provides you can say a detailed energy project implementation plan for facility this type of audit is a accurate offer or you can say accurate estimate of energy saving and cost it considers the interactive effects of all projects comma accounts for the energy use of all major equipments and includes detailed energy cost saving calculation and project cost now let us understand the detailed energy audit is carried in three phases first one is pre audit phase second one is audit phase and third one is post audit phase industry to industry there would be some methodology of energy audits and it these audits should be flexible as well there are comprehensive 10 step methodology to conduct energy audit in any system at a field level and i will be telling you about those 10 steps in further slides as well what actually pre audit phase so in the pre audit phase we basically plan and organize the resources organize instruments and a time frame building up cooperation whereby there would be healthy interaction between the personals engineers and auditors then by conducting a brief meeting there would be awareness program at uh, different uh, at different divisional heads and different departmental level so there would be awareness program whereby familiarization of process plant activities can take place so this is basically the pre audit phase now further what actually the audit phase in this basically historic data analysis takes place baseline data collection takes place there would be process flow chart single line diagrams design and operating data schedule of operation is analyzed annual energy bill and energy consumption pattern is referred so this is basically the audit phase where by calculation estimation analysis okay of data we data at various levels so this is audit phase and if if we talk about the post audit phase so in this post audit phase basically assistance and implementation of energy conservation is suggested 
and also some sort of action plan is put up whereby some uh, follow up and periodic reviews are there so this is detail energy audit methodology what actually the information we basically get from detail energy audit that is the foremost important thing first is that we get to know about the energy consumption at dip at various department level okay we can easily monitor what actually the demand by various equipments then there would be a material balance data of raw material by products recycled scrap and final products energy cost and tariff data is analyzed then process and material flow diagrams are considered generation and distribution of site services sources of energy supply whether it is from grid or it is self generated potential for fuel substitution and process modification if in a mechanism there is substitution of any process or modification is required or in a single diagram there is modification or requirement uh, is look after either or there could be a scope of fuel substitution okay just suppose if we are having a thermal power plant so we are having a primary source coal now if we are suggested that we have to use natural gas so thereby we have to substitute our coal now when we are talking about substitution of fuel uh, then uh, it is very important that how much cost investment is there what is uh, the extraction of power amount from that particular source of energy so those patterns will also be judged and look after then in the last energy awareness training programs with some sort of action plan is suggested so this is basically uh, about the detailed energy audit and information gathered now it now it is very uh, important to understand what actually the practice in various department various institute and various organization when where by energy audit takes place so i will be telling you 10 steps and these steps i have taken from a uh, particular pdf uh, that is from uh, bureau of science i will be uh, telling you about these following 10 steps and then in the last we will be uh, i will be telling you about some worksheet which will provide you a basic idea how energy audit takes place so let's start with uh, basically the methodology mechanism let's uh, quickly go through the detailed energy audit so i told you that detailed energy audit is divided into three phases first is pre audit phase second one is audit phase third one is post audit phase in brief i am just telling you in pre audit phase only observation is there in audit phase analysis monitoring verification is there and in the last phase that is the post audit phase there would be recommendation with action plan is there again i am repeating in step 1 which which basically comes under the categorization of pre audit phase only observations is done okay and in further steps which basically correlates with audit phase thereby analysis gathering of data verification monitoring is done and in the last phase recommendation with some sort of action plan is suggested now let's study the plan of action with respect to pre audit phase so i told you pre audit phase is basically the observation once energy auditor will come to audit particular organization they are very much interested to understand the practices and trends going on and it is basically a first hand observation where observation with respect to data macro data collection is there there would be a awareness program whereby healthy interaction between the auditors engineers personals working in that particular organization to get to know to get to familiarize with the process working in that particular industry organization further comes the audit phase this particular audit phase that is uh, basically from step 3 in this i told you that his uh, historic data analysis is there baseline data analysis is there various process flow charts are studied single line diagrams are studied design and operating schedule of operation is studied annual energy bill and energy consumption pattern is 
estimated and uh, studied then further conducting of survey and monitoring is there whereby motor survey insulation lighting survey portable instruments for collection of more and accurate data is done then uh, uh, detailed trials and experiments are done with respect to maximum demand power factor number of units consumed in 24 hours load variation pattern is studied boiler efficiency is studied furnace efficiency is studied in step 6 analysis of energy uses whereby energy and material balance and energy loss waste analysis is there in step 7 identification of and development of energy conservation opportunities and some sort of refined ideas are provided and how to contact vendors for new efficient technologies there would be some sort of brainstorming session whereby analysis and techniques are suggested and step 8 basically cost benefit analysis with some promising uh, projects are channelized okay and uh, what would be the prioritization for low medium and long term measures that too are included in this particular cost benefit analysis step 9 that is the basically final pa part we are coming once we have analyzed monitored verified there would be documentation and report presentation to the top management in terms of ppt is done and in the step 10 there would be post audit phase whereby implementation and follow up process with recommendation and action plan is suggested for the energy conservation and cost benefit analysis is done for the detailed action plan so this is all about the action plan and the purpose and results between the pre audit phase audit phase and post audit phase you can just hold on this video and uh, just jot down these points these are very crucial to understand let's go through the, some works, worksheets which will be providing an idea what actually the energy audit actually uh, comes into consideration so here uh, here we are seeing uh, two worksheets that is uh, uh, table 3.2 and 3.3 uh, these worksheets i have taken from bureau of energy efficiency uh, chapter third uh, energy audit now in these uh, tables we are basically uh, just saying the uh, that uh, we are looking forward towards energy saving recommendation annual savings capital investment simple paybacks period and uh, in further table we are looking after the low investment process changes equipment modification high investment product modification technology changes and if any sort of energy efficient drive devices are prioritized annual saving annual electricity fuel saving so all these things are included and these tables will provide a brief an idea that what actually the energy audit going through so i hope that this particular video will provide you an idea provide you insight to understand the energy audit energy management and key potentials and reliable solutions further if you have any queries please do comment i will be having a very uh, healthy interaction on google platforms as well so if you just want to get connected uh, to this particular lecture series kindly do message me i will provide you the code for that particular google classroom and if you find this video helpful good please do subscribe recommend class go education so thanks for watching have a good day